Hi guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. I'm here with a new makeup tutorial for you guys, which I'm super excited to film. I'm gonna zoom you guys a little bit in um, so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm showing you guys the products, and we're gonna have some. First, I am gonna put some prime, some water, some face mist, because that's what it is. Um, this is the Divine Skin Rose Water Facial Mist. To really moisturize my face, I'm gonna use this advanced clinical jojoba oil and then you open it up I can and it has like a little dropper and I've been using these this for the past like few days and it does really good at moisturizing and just calming down my redness I was breaking out really bad a few days ago so So I found this JLB Cosmetics Sun Kiss Illuminator, and um, it's it just looks like this, and it's I'm pretty sure you can get this at what's it called at Ross, and that's what it looks like. Oh, it's kind of pinky, and it's not really. Mm, do I want to use this? Okay, so, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna put this all over my face. I am gonna put this where I usually, do you guys see how like pink that is? I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Um, oh, not that bad. So I'm gonna put this where I usually just highlight my face right now and, and then just mix it, mix the foundation on top of it. Oh, and if you guys hear the baby, I have a little baby right here with me. I babysit him, so that is who you are hearing, making all this, like, grunting noises. Okay, and it just gives, you guys can see, like, it just gives a little bit of, of shine, of illumination. I'm actually going to start off on the eyes first, I think, and just let this oil calm down and really settle into my skin. And then I'm also just going to let this set for a little bit and not go so quickly um, with my foundation because I feel like it's just going to get everywhere and not just stay right there. So that's I'm just going to let everything kind of settle in and we're going to move on to the eye. So my friend gave me my birthday present and this is from House of Lashes and it's like a little mirror. Can you see that? It's like a little mirror. Um, and it says, when in doubt, to wing it out. So that's super cute. But I love it. But I'm just going to prime my eyes with this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Dark, Cir Dark Circle Eraser. Um, and it's in the neutralizing, like neutralizer shade. I know my sponge is kind of like broken or whatever, but we're going to work with it. And then I always like to bring my concealer into the inner corner a little bit. I know I look crazy right now. And then towards the outer corner. And then we're also going to bring it just down here. Because I do like to conceal with this concealer anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and conceal a little bit right now. Then I'm going to grab my concealer brush um, by It Cosmetics. So I'm actually going to go in with a sponge by Real Techniques and just kind of blend it out even more. I feel like the brush is giving me too much streaks right now. So some days I get that, some days I don't. Now I'm just going to use a setting powder to um, set all of that. This is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day um, Matte Finishing Powder in 830. And I'm just going to use the same brush that I used to blend everything. So I'm going to be going into the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. I'm going to be taking Limit, which is this shade right here. And I'm going to be trying to use it as a transition shade. I'm going to be going into an Ecos Tools blending brush. This is a really old Ecos Tools brush that I've had. It's like one of the very first brushes that I had, which is kind of crazy to think of. I don't know if you can see that. I can definitely see it where I'm at. 
Maybe I can zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay. With the same brush, I'm going to go into Nooner, which is this one right here. It's a little bit darker than the one that we just put on. And I'm just going to try to put it like towards the outer half of the eye. I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics palette with, um, in collaboration with Bubs Beauty. And I'm going to go into Inspire and add just a little touch of bronziness to it. I'm going to take this Sonia Kashuk brush. It's smaller. Um, it's a smaller blending brush than the other one that we use. And I'm just going to blend this right into everything. But I am keeping the color like in the crease. I'm not going above or below. I'm just keeping it really in the crease right here. But then as I go out, I'm kind of blending this color into that, into those deep shades that I used. But then I come here and I just go like this. I think that's deep enough. I'm going to go into this brush, um, which is the Earth Therapeutics um, brush. And excuse that it's like half like all the paint right here is chipped off. But I'm going to grab my facial mist water and I'm going to spray my brush on each side. I'm going to go out of my comfort zone and I'm going to go into the Naked Urban Decay palette again. I'm going to take a Burnout, which is this shade right here. And with that brush that I just sprayed, I'm just going to dip my brush in there and hopefully this brush applies it good if it doesn't I will change brushes I think I need to change brushes because this one's not applying it the way I want it to I'm going to go into this Anastasia um, brush that comes with the Anastasia Renaissance palette I'm going to spray this one and try to pack on the color with this And then I'm going to grab the other end of the brush that has like absolutely nothing on it. And I'm just going to blend the place where they like both meet, blend it out. Okay, so here's a close-up of just the shadow on its own with no line or anything. So I know it looks a little bit deeper whenever you get close up. Uh, from far away, it doesn't look like you can't really see what I'm doing, but um, you guys can see. I'm going to take a Strange, which is this shade um, and it's kind of like a pinky bone shade. And highlight my brow bone with that. I'm going to clean off the Ecos Tools brush like on my hand or on the sweat pens that I'm using right now, honestly. Um, and I'm just going to blend everything back out. I'm going to line my eyes. And I'm going to use this right here. I found it in one of my drawers and I'm pretty sure it's like an old eyeliner from like last year or something but I wanted to try it. I tried it at the back of my hand in a dried down mat so I was like okay well I guess I'm going to use it. I'm not sure how it's going to stay put and I'm pretty sure you can use just any eyeliner out there. I heard that the Wet n Wild H2O one is really good um, so just use whatever you have. Okay guys, I don't like it. Nope, that's probably why I didn't use it before because I just don't like it. It's like a wet mess. It's the the bristles are too long on it. So I'm gonna go into my Essence waterproof one and try to go over it. And it's just kind of like once I go over it with the with the eyeliner that I used, um, it would just come off. So guys, so that's what the wing turned out like. I really like it. It's a little dramatic, but I'm liking the wing. Now for falsies, I'm going to try these. My best friend Aranda got me House of Lashes um, lashes, and these are the Tinkle Tinkerbell edition. And this is in Forever Tink. She gave me two styles. Let me show you guys the other one. So she gave me these, which is just wing it, and then she gave me these. These are more natural, and that's why I'm using them today. And these are way more dramatic, but um, maybe I'll do a more dramatic look than this one, and we'll see what happens. 
else. But for right now, I'm just going to use the more natural ones because I feel like that, those are the ones that I'm most comfortable with right now. So these, like I said, are in just or forever teen. I'm going to try this, um, a new, what's it called? Lash glue. Okay, guys, so I put them on and they're super pretty I really like them I'm not used to wearing lashes but they're so comfortable they're really easy to put on and the the what's it called the lash glue that I use I really liked it I don't think my sister liked it and that's why she stopped using it but it's the strip lash adhesive um, clear one and it's with aloe aloe or yeah, aloe and it's so it's such a good glue and this is what it looks like if you guys are wondering um, but it is such a good glue now I tried this one I actually let it dry um, and then I put it on it was super easy to put on but this one I didn't let dry um, and then I had to redo it because I didn't let it dry so but once I let it dry it like stuck on and it would not come off I go into this palette and I'm gonna take that brown shade that I use which is inspire um, with this side of the brush and I just cleaned it off and I'm going to smoke the bottom lash out with this. I don't think I'm going to do anything too dramatic because... Oh, well, that just turned really dramatic really fast. So I'm just going to correct my face a little bit um, before I apply my... Um, my foundation because I am going for more of a full coverage look so I'm gonna go in with this um, concealer that I used earlier and I'm just gonna correct wherever I need correction at. oh but I just use my finger to blend out so around my mouth I have like dark spots it's really dark around my mouth so I like to conceal it with this and then my nose gets really oily and this is such a full coverage um, concealer that I like to go around it. I'm doing a full coverage look and put concealer on it. And I'm blending it out with the um, airbrush foundation brush by God Mendix. Today I'm going to use the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation plus Concealer in 06 Sand Beige. So I'm just going to take that foundation brush again and mix all of this in. Guys, yeah, so I'm going to go into two concealers because one's too dark and one's way too light. This one's actually my sister, so I'm going to go into the Fit Me concealers in a 10 light and 25 medium. So I'm trying to avoid the under area that I already put concealer on, so I'm just going to put it right there and right there. I'm going to use this Real Technique sponge right here. It's a br bright pink. And I believe this one's to conceal and um, to highlight and contour. I'm going to set the under eyes with the Airspun, oops, Airspun Loose Face Powder in Extra. Or in Translucent Extra Coverage. And I'm going to use this brush right here and quickly setting it I'm gonna take this big old fluffy brush and I have this fit me uh, powder which I'm all like almost like, completely all out of I just have like this little teeny tiny bit um, of product left and it's in 230 natural buff and I'm gonna just set the rest of my face with this because um, the Milani foundation for me doesn't set matte so I have to set it with something or else it'll just slowly fade away throughout the day I'm going to bronze up my face with the NYX highlight and contour pro palette like always and I'm gonna use this shade right here like I still look really luminous for my cupid though and I've already set that so, I mean, it's working really good. I got 
this little thing from Ross as well. Now I'm going to contour my nose with this brush right here. This is by BH Cosmetics and like always, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I'm gonna go back into that brown um, shade and I am going to line my waterline with this Rimmel Nude Pencil in Nude. It's very creamy and it gets nearly everywhere so you just have to be careful with it. And really place it where you want it. For mascara, I'm going to use this CoverGirl Fibers Mascara, um, and I really love this mascara, and this is like kind of dried out. I love to use dried out mascaras for my bottom lash line because if I use brand new ones, they tend to um, be really wet and get everywhere, so I don't like that. To do my brows, I am going to go really bold today, and I'm going to fill in my eyebrows with black um, pomade. So this is Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia, and it's in granite. And I'm just going to use this angled brush by Sephora. For blush, I'm going to be using... I just spit at you guys, I'm sorry. For blush, I'm going to be using the Tarte. Thankful blush. It's like a pretty Barbie pinky shade. Look how good the shade is. I'm using this Bella Pro blush brush. I'm gonna go into the NYX uh, palette again, and I'm gonna look at my brush everywhere. I'm gonna go into this shade right here, and I'll be using the brush by Wet n Wild, and it's the contour brush. The highlight that I'm going to use is this one by Wet n Wild. I'm pretty sure you guys guessed it. I'm going to use this paint brush. Yes, it's a painting brush. And if you guys are wondering which one it is, it's a three eighths of an inch Lowell Cornell Soft Comfort Oval Mop brush. And I'm just going to hit my cheekbones with this. And then I'm going to take a little bit on my finger, just like my pinky finger, and highlight the inner corner with it. So this is by Wet n Wild. It's their Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit uh, Matte Lipstick in Nudist Peach. It's such a pretty peach color, but I'm, I'm, I have a feeling it'll be too peach on me, like too nude. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild... Uh, Coral corru Corruption, but it's much more of like a peachy shade or coral. And I'm gonna go right over it. I'm gonna finish this off with some rose water that we use in the beginning. Okay guys, so this is it for this makeup look. Excuse my little baby hair. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoy these makeup looks, if you guys enjoy these makeup videos, definitely let me know in the comments down below by giving this video a thumbs up. And thank you guys so much for 130 subscribers. It's crazy how many subscribers I've gained through like the past month, the past few months. And I just want to say thank you guys. I love you guys. And um, thank you guys for supporting our family. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for like everything that you guys do for us and I just want to let you guys know I love you guys so much so thank you for the new subscribers we love you guys we adore you guys and we'll always be making content for y'all so thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and if you do subscribe don't forget to click the little notification bell that lets you know and that notifies you whenever we do upload a new video so thank you guys so much for watching and we will talk to you guys or I will talk to you guys maybe in the next makeup tutorial the next sit down video let me know what you guys like to see do you guys like the sit down videos a lot more or the makeup videos or the kids videos just let me know and also leave me your recommendations down below of what video I should do next bye guys